you got to go back out of fail safe is you go out of fail safe here, and then you have to, you'll see right now, I can't arm it. But if I throw the flight mode switch all the way to manual and then back to GPS, now I can arm. There we go. Now that's our new home point. So if I fail safe, it's going to come back to right here, uh, somewhere in this area right here in lane. Let's see. Now I'm just going to go into fail safe right now. Okay, we're in fail safe. So let's see, it should rise up a little bit maybe. 
Yep, there's the rise and it should start heading this way. There it comes. And yep, it's picked a new location because now it's going to hover right above us. And then let's see where it drops down. Now it's starting to make its way down. Still in fail safe mode because notice my throttle is still half throttle. So to get out of fail safe, we come down on the throttle, we go up on the fail safe, and we cycle the mode switch. Now I have control again. You can see by the piece of paper here how much wind we actually have out here right now. Right now I took off from this location and I'm with the orientation, the home lock and the horse lock switches off so the model does what I tell it to do. stick for the right it's going to go right if I rotate and now I still move the stick back it's still moving straight back now I'm going to go the other way so now the nose is pointing which would be due east again if I move the stick it's now changed 45 degrees the input so that's just moving the stick back and forth or fore and aft and yet the model is moving left and right if I go back to normal and move the stick four and a half, now you can see that it's moving forward. And now it's going to move backwards. So just flipping the switch one time into horse lock changes that. That's the switch all the way back. Now if I move the stick back, due north right now come into home now I'm pulling straight back on the stick notice it's actually coming sideways that's just moving the stick straight and if I take it out of that and move the stick the same direction now you can see that it's moving straight forward and straight back so again back in home lock it's going to tilt sideways see it's tilting sideways so home lock is good if you get disoriented, uh, but it can be really confusing if you're trying to fly it per the heading of the model. Now we 
have a new home position. The home position would be here. So if I were in, to go into fail safe, it would land within three or four feet of where it's setting right now. So what I want to do is I want to move it over here. Flight mode switch. Okay. Now it's just picked up a new spot. Okay, on my way home, I realized uh, I thought about the uh, the test and uh, the fail safe. That really uh, was working on me. And, and what I've realized is that uh, I actually need to rebind my system, making sure that the bind is set up so that whenever the radio is turned off, that the uh, system goes into fail safe which actually goes into fail safe here. Uh, whenever I just checked it, it did not go into fail safe. And what I mean by that is, let me go ahead and power the system up. Now I'm going to uh, go ahead and plug in the software. Okay, now, if we take a look at my transmitter, whenever I switch it off, it doesn't go into failsafe. It actually switches a couple of other settings, one being a throttle and the other being X2. Notice the jump. So, and if we look at the X2 in the autopilot, Actually, when I turn the transmitter off, it jumps to home lock. So, what I have to do is I got to go back to the um, transmitter and I'm going to go ahead and unplug the software and I'm going to walk you through binding this. Notice I'm in my workshop which is obvious, but more importantly, I do not have the props on the model, and that's just purely for safety. So, here's how we're going to go about binding. First, I'm going to put my transmitter in failsafe mode. Failsafe mode is there, so that's failsafe for, for my setup. And I'm going to go about making the uh, next video solely on the setup of the model because it did work flawlessly except for this one feature here which was turning off the radio and having it land it did not come back to home but like i say on my way home i figured out why and whenever i got here i've checked it and sure enough you're seeing what i've seen and what i realized which was a mistake that i made in binding so i'm now my transmitter is set for fail safe i have this neat little feature that I added which is nothing more than in an extension going to the bind plug on the receiver so I don't have to fiddle with making uh, uh, fishing that in there I can just simply plug it in now what I need to do is step one plug in the bind plug I've got that step two is make sure my transmitter is set so that it will be in the bind or in the fail safe position step three is go ahead and energize the model now it's, in, it's flashing and to bind. See it flashing there. Now, before I turn on the transmitter, I'm going to unplug the bind plug. Now I'm going to raise my throttle up, oh, about 40%, I guess. Uh, it really doesn't matter where you raise it as long as it's above 10. And now I'm going to push in the bind plug and turn on the transmitter. and now we have a lock we have a good lock and so I can let go of the bind button and now I'm going to shut everything down so I'm going to unplug I'm going to turn off my transmitter I'm going to put my 
switch up into normal mode, not fail safe. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter. I'm going to power up the controller. I'm going to close the software on the computer. I'm going to plug in the computer. We don't ever want to force that, so just remember that the wide part goes up. Now I'm going to open the software for the NASA uh, Assistant, which is 1.6. We're going to hit skip. And now we're going to go into transmitter and you can see my transmitter is actually working the throttle is up because it's up on the transmitter now let me go ahead and close this and close this now if I turn my transmitter off earlier I was not going into fail safe I was going into something with uh, X2 but this time I am quite confident that my fail safe is going to work and so if I turn off the transmitter there it is, it went into fail safe. So now it would do the return to home. So you gotta make sure that whenever you set it up for fail safe, that you check your transmitter and uh, the setting uh, is such a way that it does go into fail safe when you turn off the transmitter. And like I said, this was not the setup that I had when I got to the field and was testing today, but on my drive home I realized what the problem was and sure enough that was it because you can see that it is definitely now going into fail safe mode uh, whenever I turn off the transmitter.